Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the continuous variable transmission system. So what is this continuous variable transmission system? So this continuous variable transmission system, it is now the new version for the gearbox. So here, this is the system which is used to transmit the power, but without using any gear or gearbox. So if you see here, this is, these are the two elements or these are the two uh, rollers which is attached to the input and output. Now this is the shaft which is attached to the engine and this is the shaft which is attached to the rear, the rear wheel. So now with the help of this wheel drive system or the chain drive system here, we are using to transmit the power from input to output shaft. So here there will be no any use of gear elements for this CVT. So now we will see how this CVT is going to work here. The best positive point of this CVT is there will be no any requirement of lubrication system. There will be no any friction losses and the system will be most robust. It will be not most complicated, but it will be most compact as compared to other system. So this is the basic positive point for the CVT over the our just conventional gearbox system. So now we will see how this continuous variable transmission system it works. CVT transmission basic operation. The CVT or continuously variable transmission is the newest, totally redesigned automatic transmission to see the day. Yes, this is a completely new type of automotive transmission. In this series, we will cover its basic and advanced operation, as well as lots of issues dealing with CVT reliability. At this time, most vehicle manufacturers are mass producing their own version of the CVT transmission, which within the next decade will completely replace regular automatic transmissions that use old wet hydraulic clutches. The CVT or continuously variable transmission is a belt driven, infinitely variable ratio transmission. A CVT consists of an electronically controlled and oil pressure supported variator cones. The variator cones consists of a set of pulleys, primary or driver and secondary, or driven, and a high strength alloy steel push belt. The engine power is transferred from the primary driver pulley to the secondary driven pulley by way of the CVT belt. The CVT belt is the heart of the CVT and forms the main link between the vehicle's engine and the wheels. By changing the width or space between the pulleys, an infinite number of ratios can be established. This is more or less the same principle as a multi-speed bicycle, where different diameter chain sprockets are selected to gain different speed ratios. The computer chooses to have the gasoline engine rotating at the optimal speed, regardless of how fast the car is moving. When cruising under low load conditions, the engine will turn relatively slow, while engine RPM will increase when accelerating or climbing a hill, providing improved fuel efficiency as compared to a typical automatic transmission. Because of the smooth transition in gear ratios provided by the CVT, it also gets constant, stepless acceleration from full stop all the way up to cruising speed, compared to the shift feeling provided by a normal automatic. The CVT transmission provides less power loss than a typical automatic transmission, resulting in better efficiency and acceleration. The CVT belt consists of two ring packages of 6 or 12 rings each, and approximately 400 to 800 elements of an inch, 2 inch and a half width, it has been this component, which has prevented the technological development of the CVT in the past, which was made of rubber exhibiting poor quality. The modern CVT belt work more by sheer force, 
rather than tractive force. The key factors here are the CVT belt link surface, and both, the driver and driven pulley cone surfaces. Each, the driver and driven pulley has a large control piston, so that its width can be regulated. As you can see, the CVT belt rides on the slope of the pulley cones, which is where power transfer happens on the CVT. The torque is transmitted by pushing rather than pulling, the connection between the two cones is like a solid steel shaft. Non-slip traction between the belt and pulleys enables the CVT to deliver high control and power from the engine to the road. Aggressive drivers can still choose from predefined transmission ratios through software control, although this defies the purpose of the CVT, which is for the TCM to keep full control at all times to take advantage of its fuel savings. We will later cover the pros and cons of the CVT transmission, along with what fails the most. The CVT transmission is bound to become the dominant transmission technology, due to its low cost and full control from the TCM, translating into higher fuel savings. Thank you.